folks said they would. Right. But God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And the Holy Spirit is the one not just to dwell on the outside of us, but he's the one who wants to dwell on the inside of us. To give us the strength and the ability to go on. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth in that 17th verse. Whom the world cannot receive because it does not see him and know him and recognize him. Yes. But you recognize him for he lives with you, the Amplified Bible says, constantly uh -huh. and will be in you. God will never leave you. And that's why he sent the Holy Ghost. Because he knew that as long as we were going to be on this earth, we were going to need some help. Yes. Because our enemy has been there since the beginning. Uh-huh. He was there with Adam and Eve. Uh-huh. He's been there from the beginning. And we need somebody to help us combat the enemy. Uh-huh. To help us maintain the victory that Jesus has already given us. And so I've heard many people declare the Holy Ghost, they, they, they say he's, he's the one that makes you cry with nothing wrong. He's the one that makes you run with nobody's behind you. He's the one that makes you lift up your hands and ain't nobody holding you up. I know all those all those accolades are given to him, but the word gives a better description because those are according to our motion. The word does know he's my advocate, he's my counselor, he's my helper. Mm -hmm. He's the one I need. And the enemy wants us so confused on the subject of the Holy Ghost because he is the third head of God. It's not something that's make us shake and quake or run in church. But in the midnight hour when you feel like giving up, uh -huh. the Holy Ghost is there with you yes, to is. encourage your heart. Yes, when you feel like you can't go on, the Holy Ghost is the one that's there to encourage you. When you don't know which way to go, he's my counselor. He's there to counsel me, to show me this is what you need to do and this is what you now don't need to do. If you follow the leading of the Holy Ghost, the Bible says if you follow the leading of the Spirit, God will never leave you astray, never leave you abandoned, never take you to a dead end. He always knows what direction to go. He's better than your navigation system in your car. He knows which way to take you. He knows every turn. He he knows every avenue, and if you're there, he'll give you a shortcut to get there sooner than you're supposed to get to. Won't you let the Holy Ghost rise on the inside? He's my counselor, he's my helper, he's my intercessor, he's my advocate, he's my standby. How many of us are supposed to have some standbys that haven't been standbys? My God. Buddies are supposed to be there for us, people are supposed to be there for us. You were supposed to, I called you, man, where were you at? I called you, where were you at? And you didn't even answer my call. They didn't return my call. Called me two days later. I, I saw on my phone that you called me. Did you need something? Mm. And if you won't say it, you're about ready to cuss. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my God. And two days later, I was in trouble. <laughs> but God is there all the time. And if the Father is sitting on the throne and Jesus is on the right hand, Holy Ghost is the one that's doing the work for him. Ah. Stay in that 14th verse, that 14th chapter of John, and drop down to the 26th verse. Mm. Good, you're good, you're good. Let's pass, get the mic and read it from the King James verse. I have to amplify about it, but read it from the King James verse. John 14 and 26. But the helper the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Listen to what the Amplified Bible says, the same words. But the Comforter, the Counselor, the Helper, the Intercede, the Advocate, the Strengthener, the Standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place to, res to represent me and act on my behalf. Yes. He will teach you all things. Stop right there. All I can't, Pastor, I, I read the word and I don't, I don't have any understanding. Just get the Holy Ghost. Yes. 
Yes. And he will teach you all things. <laughs> he will open up your understanding to the word and you get revelations that you never got before. And with revelations, you'll be able to stand like you never stand up stood before. Don't be scared of it because it sounds different and you can't understand the King James Version. Let's get you a better modern version that gives a better understanding and read the word and God will begin to speak to your heart because he wants you to know who he is. Yes, he does. He wants to teach you all things. Then not only that, he said he will cause, and he will cause you to remember. We will remind you, bring to your remembrance everything that I told you. Now this was Jesus talking. But because we have his body, we have the word now, the Holy Ghost will bring everything to our remembrance if we let him. But he can't bring things to our remembrance if we ain't never in the word. If you don't put nothing in, he can't bring nothing back to your remembrance. Right. But if you get in the word, mm. in the time of trouble, yeah. when you need a word to stand on, because the word is a rock, a solid foundation, when you need a word to stand on, the Holy Ghost will bring back to your remembrance. Oh, yeah. That word that will be the encouragement to help you make it. Yes. So he'll teach you all things. He'll bring things back to your remembrance. Yes. And Jesus said, he has come to be in my place. Now we may not be able to understand that as much as the disciples, because the disciples were spending three years with Jesus. And none of us has physically spent any time with Jesus, although we spent time in prayer with him. Mm -hmm. But the disciples, if you could put yourself in their place, have been with Jesus for three years. They have seen him raise the dead. They have seen him walk on the water. They have seen him heal the sick. They have seen him open up their eyes to the blinded. And now he's saying, I'm going away. When they were nothing without him, and once they got with him, they became something. So much so that when Jesus had died and the Pharisees saw Peter and James, and the Bible said they perceived that they were ignorant men. They knew they were ignorant men, but they perceived they had been with Jesus. <laughs> See, being with Jesus will change things for you. Uh -huh. And here Jesus is letting the disciples know, yes, I got to go away, but I'm not going to leave you by yourself. I'm going to send you some help that's going to be just like me while I spend time with you. So when well, you got the Holy Ghost dwelling on the inside, it's just like Jesus dwelling on the inside. And everything you need. And he'll teach you everything. Let's keep on looking what Jesus had to say about the Holy Spirit. Go over to the next chapter in John, chapter 15, verse 26. When you have it, say amen. John 15, 26. We're looking at 26 and 27. Listen to what the King James Version says. But when the Comforter, we know that the Comforter is the Holy Ghost, is come, who I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeds from the Father, he shall testify of me. Mm -hmm. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. The Bible says he shall testify of me. Testify. I said, well, okay, God, you say he's going to testify about you. What does that mean? So I went and looked up what testify means. Testify means to make a statement based on personal knowledge or belief. Bear witness with, to serve as evidence or proof, to express a personal conviction, to make a solemn declaration under oath for the purpose of establishing a fact. I said, Jesus. The Bible says the Holy Ghost should testify of Jesus mm -hmm. because he has personal knowledge, mm -hmm. has a personal conviction. Yes. He's going to let you know. That's why the Holy Ghost is working in your salvation. 
When you come to God, he's testifying to what Jesus wants to do in your life. He's convicting you of your sins. Trying to let you know you can't make this thing on your own. Trying to let you know you can't do it by yourself. Trying to let you know, yes, there, there's some things that people are trying to tell you that you can do this and you can do that. But God said, just get under my wings and I'll take you to levels that you've never been before. And I'll take you to heights that you've never seen before. You need somebody who's going to be there for you all the time. Yeah. And God said, it's the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So the Bible declares he's going to testify of Jesus. He's going to dwell on the inside. He's going to counsel you. Yeah. He's going to teach you. Yeah. He's going to bring all things back to your remembrance. Yes. He's going to be your advocate. Mm -hmm. When nobody else will speak up for you, the Holy Ghost is going to speak up for you. When nobody else will say anything for you, the Holy Ghost is going to say anything for you. Yeah. And the thing about the Holy Ghost is that his, his, his audience is the Father who sits on the right hand and the Son who sits on the, the, Father who sits on the throne and the Son who sits on the right hand. What greater audience can you have? And now you've got an advocate that can go into the throne room mm -hmm. for your behalf. Amen. Yes. How many of us can go in the White House anywhere, anytime we want to say, well, Obama, I need to talk to you? <laughs> That's if, you if you can, let me see me out the service. I need to talk to you because I need to. <laughs> How many of us can, well, invited to the web, the war web, you had an invitation, you had a front row seat. When they got married. Mm. How many of us can go to Trump Plaza and just say, I'm not coming to see Donald Trump. He, he suspected me. Mm -hmm. How many of us can go see Warren Buffett? I, he, I, I'm on this list. All I got to do is look. I'm coming to see him. But when you are in God, mm -hmm. you got to advocate. They can walk in the throne room and won't go out and touch them. Can walk in the throne room at any time and say, Father and Jesus, we need to talk about everything. Mm. We need to talk about Kia. We need to talk about Chris. I, I got, I'm the advocate. I need to talk to you about them. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, when the Holy Ghost gets in the throne room, he don't have to do the talking. <laughs> Oh, Lord. He don't have to do the talking. Because when he 